Brianna Jones has dominated in the paint for four seasons at the University of Maryland. In 118 career games, she has scored over 1,400 points and hauled in nearly 1,000 rebounds. She has played in two Final Fours and been named to a pair of all Big Ten teams. This season, she leads the Terps in both scoring and rebounding, and she hopes that her lessons from past Final Fours can help the team make it back and maybe even win a national championship. Um, just the experience, I think, uh, in that the experience getting there, the journey there is harder than it looks, and you can't take any game for granted, and you just got to come out ready to play every game. Jones has gained national recognition over the years for her wide variety of low post moves, which she can use to beat just about any defender. Her size and power can make her a nightmare to match up against, but it's pretty easy for point guards to feed her the ball. Even if I throw like a little bad pass or it's off, she would try to find some type of way of getting the pass. And like, it's always like, I don't know, it's just, I just love playing with her because I know that even if she don't get the pass, she tried to, and she tried her hardest to. Jones came to College Park in the summer of 2013 as a four-star prospect from Haber Grace, Maryland. At first, she had to recover from the torn ACL she suffered in her senior year of high school, but she worked her way back in time for the team's first game that fall. She made her first career start at Syracuse in January of 2014, and she hasn't looked back since. I remember uh, the senior then, Alicia Devon, she was, I was talking to her, telling her I was so nervous. She's like, it's just like any other game, it's just you're starting now. <laughs> I was like, it's easy for you to say that because you've been starting, but like my first start, but it was, it was fun. This season, Brianna is joined on the Maryland team by her younger sister, Stephanie. They've played on the same team before, but they were only together for half a season in high school. Steph is averaging five points a game in her freshman campaign, but she says the highlight has been playing with her older sis. It's been amazing. Um, just like being on the floor with her and her just like coaching me through everything and just helping me do it. And especially like being on the court with her like Louisville and everything. With that atmosphere, it's been great. It's been really awesome. Me and Bree, surprisingly to me, we became really close friends um, ever since I stepped on campus. Um, I never really liked Bree like that. We have some some past history in AAU basketball when her team beat my team in the uh, Nike Nationals, and um, her team beat us. And I hated Bree since then. It wasn't even her team. It was Bree that beat us. <laughs> we didn't have no bigs. So ever since then, I always had bad blood for her. But <laughs> it's all love, though. With Small eligible after redshirting last year, and Steph, one of six freshmen in a highly touted recruiting class, Maryland has a young group. Jones and guard to Tori Walker Kimbrough are the only two seniors on the team. The Terps' biggest stars have to lead on and off the court, but they've both risen to that challenge. I know just going from high school, like, she's more vocal, um, she's more demanding, like, her presence in the post is more demanding, and she just goes after it. I had passed her the ball in the post, it was a real nice pass, and she had missed the layup, but she got her rebound and put it back in, and she turned around, and she got the end one, she turned around, like, oh, I missed the good assist. So, like, we have, like, conversations like that on the court and stuff. Off the court. Jones is actually a pre-med major who plans to be a pediatrician when her basketball career is over. When I was younger, I wanted to be a doctor, uh, just just through because I, I really like science and math, and I uh, felt like that was the one thing that I could do. And then like working camps um, as I moved up, going in high school and college, just working with kids, I loved it. So I decided to put my two passions together, and I could be a pediatrician. Jones completed her kinesiology degree in three years and she's currently taking prerequisites for the medical college admission test in May. Even though she's also expected to be a first-round WNBA draft pick, she still plans to take that test before focusing on the pro career. Right now my plan is to take the MCAT and your score lasts uh, five years, so I could play for up to five years or I, I can take it again if I need to, or um, just going from there. I think it just depends on how long I play, or if, if it's something I want to do, or if I change my mind and have a backup.